Hey, what's going on, everybody? How's it going? John here with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Keeping your vibrations way up high the roof, to the sky, the ceiling, way up high and high on vibrations. So my message today that I want to talk to today about is the solar plexus. Now, this chakra, I've actually been having my focus on lately. And so the solar plexus is your third chakra, which is in your stomach area. And that's for the meaning of the solar solar plex solar plexus is digestive your digestive system what you're eating dieting like what you're putting what energy you're putting in your stomach or it also has to do with like people pleasing or just maybe like trying too hard but what I really look at the solar plexus like what I feel within is really what you're putting in your system. Now it, I'm t now guys, I'm telling you, it really is hard to watch. I mean, it is hard to watch what you eat because it's just like so much stuff now. Like so much stuff is GMO now, like that they put into vegetables, fruits, but also it's just like eating junk food, eating like chips all the time drinking alcohol all the time and it's just putting that in and then going to sleep right after that like you go to sleep right after you you eat a big bag of chips or something it's like what energy are you putting in your system and that's not healthy to go to sleep right after you're putting so much toxic energy into your system so your solar plexus and a lot of health problems can tie with solar plexus, like UTI. I've suffered with, I don't know if it's a UTI before or a kidney, kidney pain or kidney problems. I don't know if it was a kidney stone. I know I've suffered with that before quite a bit in the past, but luckily I've outgrown that because I'm trying to watch what I eat, watch what I drink. There are some stuff that I am trying to cut back on. And those are one of my battles that I have to face. But it's just like, really watch what you eat. Watch what you're putting in your system. But they also say it is people-pleasing type stuff or trying hard or putting yourself first before others. Like, stuff like that. But, like I said, I really look at the solar plexus for, like, health issues. Like, what, you, what energy you're putting in your system. And... Like, if you throw up a lot, that could be a part of, like, a blockage in your solar plexus. Now, me, I try not to throw up that much or, like, keep myself from throwing up. Like, if there's a reason to throw up, like, if you've eaten something that's really, really bad and you need it out of your system, then, yeah, then you're going to have to get that energy out of you. But I haven't gotten sick like that in almost a year now. Like, I've... I'm just trying to be aware of trying to stay healthy, like trying to take care of my system, being aware of what I'm putting in my system. And that's goes for all of us. Like, I think one of the solar, one of the, the solar plexus is like one of the most important chakras that we need to like be aware of. And the way I see it is like, what energy are you putting in your system? So if you wake up with like a stomach ache in the middle of the night, it's like, what energy did you put in your in your in your stomach in your solar plexus? Because if your stomach's hurting after eating a big bag of chips or hot wings right before bed and drinking alcohol or whatever soda, and you wake up with a stomach ache, you've got all that bad negative energy in your solar plexus. So it's just stuff like that, like, and I've just been learning more about it, like. Your solar plexus ties like with, yeah, like health issues. Like if you have health issues, that means your solar plexus is probably blocked. Or if you throw up so much, you have throwing up problems or just something, kidney problems, all that. Those that I feel like learning about that when you have those problems, that really means your solar plexus is probably closed. So to 
unblock your solar plexus. That's why you got to watch what you eat. You got to get in that mindset of portion size eating or just dieting, eating a lot of fruits, vegetables, drinking lots of water. The drink I have been drinking a lot lately is aloe vera. It's from that cactus, cacti plant. I actually have a cat, an aloe vera plant in my, like right next to my bed, right like on the, on the stand next to my bed. I have it right in front of the window, getting that vitamin D from the sun, and it's that juice inside the plant. But those aloe vera, those aloe vera, like they have different flavors. The one I always get, cause it says on the thing, it says non-GMO, plant-based like not that much sugar and uh, I'm telling you the, the the flavor I get is peach watermelon and the aloe vera flavor and it has those like pulp those pulp things in the drink and uh, I'm telling you those drinks are so good and I've heard so many health benefits for people who drink them so I've been getting in the habit of drinking a lot of those along with water. And because if you drink so much soda, so much soda or any energy drinks, I'm telling you, they say it gives you a lot of energy, but it doesn't. They just say that so you can keep spending money on it. But it's just stuff like that or what you're eating. If you feel full or you get stomach aches, or throw up a lot because you eat too much of that bad energy. That's something that I look into. Be aware of. Watch what you're eating. Watch what you're putting in your system. Because I think your sacral chakra and your solar plexus are like one of the most important chakras to be aware of. Because your sacral chakra, even though this, this is not what this video is about, but your sacral chakra is holding on your sexual energy, which purifies your body helps detox your body, all holding on to that energy. That's an important one. So going on no fat, that's important. But solar plexus, also important because you got to watch what stuff you're putting in your, in your system. If you eat healthy, or at least eat less, like maybe eat like they say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Like eat some protein for breakfast or something. Get your day started. That'll give you energy or eating or drinking those protein shakes or... Well, actually, no. When I was on the ret my retreat for my meditation retreat back in the fall, they were making organic shakes, like mixing with like sliced carrots, bananas, broccoli. And I'm telling you, that shit was so freaking good. That will fill you up. That's basically your meal right there, except it's a drink. It's a shake, all organic, pure organic, no GMO. And just when you drink or just eat all that healthy stuff, you're putting that right positive energy in you, all that pure light energy inside you. I'm telling you, it's just, I've been so focused on the chakra lately. I'm trying to watch what I'm putting in my system or just being aware of like how much I'm eating a day. I'm trying to get in the habit of fasting. That's just, I mean, being aware of your chakras, it's important because your chakras are connected to your aura field, your energy field, the seven colors of your chakras to your aura. But it's just a lot to learn. It's a lot. Remember, this awakening journey, it's a process. There's levels to this. And you just learn on your way through, throughout your spiritual journey. Because it's a journey. It's, all, it's not easy. It's hard. It takes time. That's why you got to take the time to work on yourself. Focus on yourself. Go within. Because you've got all those answers within. But I just want to make that quick message. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.